I pray you do your thing, cause I be doing mine. I miss my cousin, he just liked her doing time. Every time. <laughs> Shit so bad and just pull their ass off and shit over guys. Like I don't think no I nah I ain't gonna put that past niggas cause some niggas probably do really do that though. On some real shit. On some real shit. So why have you act like you ain't did that that one day? And you have to Man, you know it. Come on. Cut that off. What's going on YouTube man? It's your boy Jason and I'm back with another video, man. You feel me? Today is a very special day. I got a surprise for y'all, so I'm not even gonna say it in the vlog. I'm not even gonna say it, I just gonna see it as I go. But this is a this is how our day is starting, you feel me? You got your airpods on? Yeah, right here. Right off. We in the gym with it this morning, man. We walked the dogs early. You feel me? So we're coming to the gym. We coming to the gym in my building, man. We finna um we finna get this work in, you feel me? Gotta, gotta start a routine, gotta get the programming, you feel me? So, hey, if you're not doing nothing, get off your Get off your and work out. Go do something, bro. Do something productive. Even if you just go out and just think, you feel me? And write shit down that you got some goals, you got anything you need to accomplish, man. Go do that, you feel me? But, um, yeah, we finna work out. I just kind of want to take y'all along with us. Well, but yeah, though, man, hey, yeah, I just kind of want to start this video off on some positive shit, man, because, you feel me, today is a really big day for me as far as accomplishments you feel me um as y'all know what's going on buddy man we gotta ask about your dog <laughs> How do you oh yeah that dog, dog like buff as hell bro that dog buff as hell i want to i told my dog man we going in the street <laughs> that dog too big they what you doing just let me know i might slide with you uh All right, y'all, so we just got done with the gym right now. You feel me? Um, worked out in the gym, got some good work in. A nigga was really super sad, and I ain't gonna lie. A nigga wasn't even like... I wasn't even... Let me get Buddy one more treat in the cage. Let me get him a small treat. Here, buddy. Here. Come here. Treat. Hold on, yeah. Hey, stop. Hold on. Good boy. Be right back. Hold on, buddy. I'm gonna take a shot. But yeah, we was kind of super setting. You feel me? Um, we did. What we was doing? Ten sets. It was like ten sets of pull-ups. I mean, t we did ten sets of pull-ups, ten sets of twelve, well, ten sets of twelve of everything. So ten sets of push-ups, ten sets of pull-ups, ten sets of dips, and ten sets of curls. That was what a nigga was doing today. You feel me? Um, we met we met somebody too. We met um, this one dude. We, we, we walking our dog. We passing, but we be, we like we be passing. Well, today we passed him, and we ended up going to the gym and seeing him again. You feel me? We was talking to him. He a cool nigga. He's a real cool nigga. He just got here. Just got out of jail too. Like he from Virginia, so we just kind of having a long ass, um, you know, t like talk. We was just all chopping up about everything. You feel me? He was giving you know telling niggas story, rapping shit too. You feel me? Just a real cool nigga from. What I've seen, he's a pretty cool nigga, just off base of me meeting him today. And yeah, we kind of was just talking to him for a while. That was, yeah, we was talking to him and then we just got back in the crib. So I'm finna just shower real quick. And I got a haircut, I'm finna go get a haircut. I gotta go to Eric's house. So I'm gonna go get, we gonna get some food and then go get a haircut. Got a surprise for y'all niggas after that. So, um, I'm really excited, bro. I'm so excited. <sighs> I've been excited for a week now, shit, so. Love y'all, man, make sure to subscribe. Turn your notifications on, man. Like I said, bigger videos will come, it's just, so it's just right now, y'all. You gotta give me a second, man. I gotta give me a second, man. I, I've been paying for a lot of things, so I'm not trying to get venues right now. I'm not trying to pay for all that shit. You feel me? I have to pay twenty five hundred just to move into my next apartment that I'm finna get, um, which will be re be ready in like like three weeks. So you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot going on. So I kind of want to just hold on. I get well, we get paid in like two days though. So once I get paid, I'm just gonna do it. Um, yeah, y'all. So I'm really excited, bro. I'm hell excited, bro. Oh, yeah. Why did my ass, bro? What you doing, bro? This nigga, buddy. Every time, what? 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 What you want, man? What? 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 You hungry? Get you some food. Ah, uh, yeah. So we just got back to the crib. You feel me? Watch out. What the fuck going on, man? 
Y'all know what the fuck is going on, man. You know what the fuck going on? Hey, bro, a lot of y'all niggas was talking about, uh, I've been waiting to do this video, bro. A lot of y'all niggas, I seen niggas was trying to talk about me in Dub video. Was talking about, oh, he wearing Dub watch, he doing this, he doing that, you feel me? Kind of hating on the nigga, you feel me? So, what I did when you bitch ass niggas. Matter of fact, hold on. We not gonna speak on my new wallet I just got. We not gonna speak on that. What I did on you hating ass niggas, man. I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna tell you what I did, bro. Got T.O. over there in the cup, man. But... Yeah, you niggas was hating on a nigga. Talking all that hot shit, man. Y'all be forgetting, man. Cinco is always gonna do what he's gonna do. You know what I'm saying? One thing about me is I'm always gonna get to that bag. I'm always gonna get to that paper. I'm always, you feel me? I'm always gonna play, play, play broke, be rich. You feel me? And that's one thing about me that's gonna let me surpass all the, the goal, tar the targets in my life. You know what I'm saying? Watch out, buddy. Get your, go there wrong. Go. Go there wrong. He just be following me. I get it. I understand, but come on. Not, not on June too. Like, right, right, come on, my dude. Can't wait, nigga. But I just really want to give it thanks. Watch out, buddy. Watch out. Hold on. Go to your room. Go to your room. Go to your room, buddy. Just let, come on. Let, let me have my. Can I have my moment, please? Can I have my moment? I'm not saying come here. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it. Go, buddy. Go to your room, buddy. Go to your room. Go. Go to your room. Go, go to your room. Go. Buddy, uh-uh, come here, come here, come here. Go to your room. Lay down. Good boy. He look for any little thing to just to just come back in here for. He just try, he just wanna come here and um, talk to me. But um, yeah, I just wanna give a big thanks, y'all. I ain't even really get to vlog this experience. My dumb self left my camera here, bro. I went, got a haircut, as y'all can see. I got went and got a cut. Then I went to downtown LA, got the watch for a really good price, bro. And bro, I feel like everything is God's timing, bro, on some real stuff. Hold on, y'all. But I just be feeling like really everything is God's timing on some real shit because, like, I, I went to I went to the Diamonds District with a budget, but now I wouldn't say like a budget. Like in my head, I know what I will and when I spend. They're trying to sell me. What were they trying to do? A skeleton for 23, bro. A skeleton for 23, bro. I was like, hell no, I'm not paying 23 for a skeleton. I, like me, I don't know watches. Like I got this bitch on my right wrist, bro. I don't even know nothing about watches, so I'm not finna. Like it doesn't make no difference to me. I really, really just want some fully iced out. I really don't give it. I really don't care about the skeleton. I want some iced out. I end up going downstairs. All the booths and shit. It's like booths down there that they be selling jewelry and shit. And he had a watch and he sold this bitch to me, bro. I'm not gonna say the price on here because I know niggas be pocket watching. I ain't gonna say the price, man. Just know that he gave me a really good price, and I feel like you know everything happens for the right reason you gotta you gotta stay on your own time and don't rush it don't go broke trying to impress other people man do what makes you happy do what you truly love and always have a backup plan bro always have a backup plan with anything you feel me what you looking at bro you like boys man get up out of here man i'm talking to my niggas on some real shit you come here playing with that foolishness that's what, that's what you do every time i'm talking you come here with that shit. fucking foolishness that's oh, what you, you got to like do with that wild. I'm just saying, let me bro. See, let me see that real quick. Take it off. Hey, bro, back up, bro. What you on, my nigga? What you? Hey, bro, what you on, my nigga? Take that bitch off real quick. What you mean? Let me see it. Man, no. You can't let the homie see. I ain't get to see it yet. Yes, you did. Damn, can I see it? Damn, take it off. What you think? You scared of me or something? Damn. Let me see how I'm looking. Let me see how that shit look. Let me see how that shit look. Let me see how that shit look. Go ahead. You got it, cuz. This ain't my first rodeo doing this, though. You know, put it on. Come on, nigga, do you it. You knew that it's Cardi Rock. Nigga, know? I'm saying, nigga, do it. You ain't doing it yourself. Yeah, I'm scared, bro. Just nigga. do it. This nigga, man. You put the clip, clip this one for you. Yeah. He's got a little ass wrist. What you looking for, bro? Uh, what you doing, my nigga? Hey, 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 what, hey, what, hey. what you doing, bro? What? You get my shit back. Right, right, come on. Nah, come on, come on. Back up off me, boy. What you mean, back up off me, boy? Nigga. nigga. What you laughing about? This beat, nigga. Nah, I'm already doing, buddy. Alright, my bad. Nah, you good. Nah, you good. Nah, I appreciate yeah, you, my nigga. Hey, right. you be playing so much. You gotta stop playing. Yeah, 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 you be playing. Why you that door? What's uh, your name? Nothing. Uh, yeah, I was just. Alright, <laughs> uh, yeah, right, I'll be in the room. We can hop on the game. Try to hop on the game? Yeah. Alright, let's go. 
Alright, buddy. Hey, can I see your camera and grills for this real quick? Huh? Nigga, where are my grills? This shit crazy. She got niggas acting out of order, bro. But nah, I do. But yeah, back to what I was saying, though, y'all. I really do want to appreciate y'all for everything that y'all do. You feel me? I appreciate y'all because y'all, it's, it's a group of y'all, bro, that really stay fucking loyal to the soil, my nigga. You feel me? Like, it's a lot of niggas out here, bro, that. Dog, I'm from the crowd. Hold on. Man, I'm going. Man, yo, yo ass. I, I can't be around you. You with, you with this freaky ass shit, bro. I'm, I'm trying to talk to my subscribers. Get the fuck up out of here. Why your dog sound like that, bro? Bye! <laughs> nah, but um, what I was saying, though, um, kind of fixed. Alright, back to what I was saying, though, y'all. Um, I do truly really want to let y'all know how much I appreciate you guys. You feel me? Because. You took that belly coat off. But, um, hey, what you mean? But, now nah, I really do want to let y'all know how much I appreciate y'all. I want to have this view behind me. I feel like it'll look harder. Alright, y'all can see me now. Um, but now nah, I do want to, um, just appreciate y'all for everything, bro. I want to let y'all know that I appreciate you guys. You feel me? Because y'all done changed a young nigga life. So, like, like, y'all don't even know how much I changed my life around, bro. Um, for a lot of people that don't know who I am or just maybe clicking on this video without being subscribed, you feel me? Um, you know, I'm a kid, just give them like a quick backstory, you feel me? I'm a, I'm a kid, I grew up, I grew up in Watts, you know, Watts, California, you feel me? I had a really, I really had a, like a rough childhood, you feel me? I had a rough childhood, um, you know, just, just you know, just street stuff, just regular, regular things that just happens in the neighborhood and, and like, you know, in, a, in an area like that. You know, to um, to move into Compton, you feel me? I moved to Compton when I was in like fifth grade. You feel me? And growing up there was hella hard. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of a lot of a lot of things. I done seen a lot of things, bro. Like I done really seen a lot of stuff, and and it changed me for the better. You feel me? I never let that 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 type of stuff really get to my mind. It, 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 I'm not gonna say that my actions weren't. You know, like, I, I, of course I couldn't control my actions back then because I was a kid, but I never let that shit really mess with my mind. As far as like, I never let my mind, so I always had a good head on my shoulders, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes I just do, you know, some dumb stuff, but I had a really good head on my shoulders as far as my plan to, um, to just like, as a, as a, always, I always was like, I want something more for myself. You know, there's people out here in this world that don't want a lot for themselves. And I was one of those people like, I want more for myself. No matter what I'm doing, I want more for it. If I'm doing this, I'm going to do this to the best of my ability to get some money. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to. I'm gonna. I'm, I need. You know. I, I have a. I have a dream of seeing my family, and everybody that in my immediate family. I, I want them to be all straight. You know. I want. As long as I'm here, I want them to be straight. I want them to live the life that, that I feel they deserve. I always want. My, I always sit down with my mom too. Like, I want my mom to live the life that she deserves. I feel like what she's done for me. You feel me? She deserves everything in the world, and I want to be able to, to be able to provide that for her and my family. A lot of things would not be possible without you guys. You know. Of course, other people also, but. You guys, bro, you guys stay down, like I said, like, really stay down for a nigga, bro. You feel me? Um, it, like, it was times, bro, on my lowest, nigga. Like, people won't even know, bro, and I just, I always get them good messages. I always get them messages on Instagram, bro. I always get a mention of what my song, get, and I always get, you know what I'm saying, a comment on my post. It's just, like, little good comment, nice positive comments. It's like, bro, it's like, I, I just am so grateful for that, you feel me, because Cause growing up, like a lot of, you know, a lot of people really doubted a nigga, you feel me? Like, out of that group, I was always the person in the group that, that, that was ignored. And, and, and I was that kid that was always kind of ignored that, you know, as a kid, I did seek attention to be honest, you know, and I was ignored, you feel me? Just because I felt like I was doing that because I was ignored probably. As far as like fighting and shit, like I wanted attention, you know what I'm saying? But, um. You know, it was it, it, it was it was a lot, bro. You feel me? Even dealing with my best friend passing away, you know, um, a lot of these experiences that I'm having, I wish I could have with him. You know what I'm saying? Um, it just, you know, it, it's it's hard sometimes. But I, I always want, I want like me, I want my channel, and I want who I am. You feel me? I want who I am to be an inspiration to you guys, to to kids from a from a neighborhood like Compton. You feel me? From a neighborhood like Watts. From a from a small neighborhood, a gang. A, a, a gang violent, a gang, you feel me, like, 
violent ass neighborhood, bro, to just make it out. Like I'm, I, I'm glad a lot of people that seen. Like I was really that kid at every party you went to, nigga. I was at that party. I was at that party. You feel me? Like I was there shooting dice. I'm chilling. I'm always the funny nigga, chilling. Good vibes with everybody, bro. You feel me? And a lot of my friends seen me level up in life, and and, and I know that that since I can do it, I know they feel like they can do that shit. I know, and that, and that just having that type of reputation to my name in the city is like, it's just, it's gold for me, you feel me? Because I want to be a voice for people like us, you feel me, as far as people that, that ain't come from shit, that, that really gotta get this shit out the mud, that strive every day, nigga, that think about when, how I'ma get my next dollar, bro, to this day, bro, right now. Even with all this shit, bro, I still think, how am I gonna get my next dollar? How am I gonna, you know, advance myself to the next level? What do I gotta do? I gotta, do I gotta read books? I'm ordering books. I'm, I'm trying to level up in life. I'm going outside. I'm trying to find. I'm, I'm trying. You feel me? And, and, and I would never knock a nigga off his grind. That's one thing I would never ever do. That's something a bum niggas does to other people, bro. Is knock niggas off their grind, bro. If you see a nigga trying, bro. If you see any nigga trying, to, even if it ain't progressing, it's no progress, nigga. You can never put a nigga down for trying, bro. You never do that, bro. You never do that to no man, bro. Because. You don't know what their situation is, you feel me? And backtracking, sorry, I'm going off, but backtracking to that shit, bro, like even with y'all, bro, like y'all didn't know what I, nobody knows what I go through, bro. Nobody really knows behind the scenes, you feel me? Like shit be hard for a nigga, you feel me? Like life be hard, bro. As much as y'all think money, money can buy happiness, don't get me wrong, but it's not all day, you feel me? Like even even people be like, oh, you could buy something for somebody and they'll be, and you can make yourself happy, like that's happy. Yeah, for that moment, and then when you done, what you, you you feel me? Now you gotta do for others to be happy. Like that's not a happy life. Like, like why why you should be happy within also. You feel me? And you know what I'm saying like life get hard, bro. Like and money can't save that shit. You feel me? Like this is this are, these are real problems. You know, and I want y'all to know that I have problems too, bro. I have problems too. You know what I'm saying? Everything isn't perfect. My relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like certain like certain situations. Like it's they're all they're all. You know what I'm saying? Like but you can't. When I was reading this book, bro, it said you cannot, sometimes we tend to base our future on our past, you feel me? When in reality, that's not the case. Our, 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 we only do that because, wait, we, we don't, you can't judge it off the past. Yeah, your future is, the future is a perception, bro. Like, it's, it's all like just how you view things, you know what I'm saying? But if, if you view things as far as like, I don't know, whatever your religious beliefs are, me, I leave it all to God, bro. No matter what, bro, like, this is, the, this is the day I believe. Now, I've been believing in God, bro, but this is the day where I noticed God took the wheel, bro. I got into it with my best friend. You feel me? As many of y'all know. Got into it with my best friend. We ended up having a fallout, bro. We ended up having a whole fallout. We ended up having a fallout. And then um, after we had the fallout, you feel me? He ended up passing away. In the same city, in the same place I grew up in, bro. Every day, I'm thinking this place love me, bro. Thinking they love us as a, as a group of kids. They did it, bro. They took my best friend from me over some material shit, over some shit like this. You feel me? You took my brother whole life, man. You took my best friend's whole life. The whole life he had over a couple of thousand. You feel me? And after that happened, you know, I didn't go home. I didn't go home that day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me just record for you. Uh, no, you good. I'm doing like this. I'm All just right. talking to him. What happened? No, no, no. Wait till you done recording. Uh, yeah, like I was saying though, y'all, um, a nigga, and yeah, like, yeah, took my best friend for a couple thousand, bro. And then after that, I didn't go home. I didn't end up going home. My, my uncle got, my uncle got shot in his head, putting his kid in the car. You feel me? This is all in the span of two, three days, bro. He parked in my parking spot. And then that shit happened. I'm, I'm not coming home. I'm not coming home. You feel me? I'm not coming home. I slept on Mo couch for three months. Shout out Mo. You feel me? Slept on their couch. Shout out their whole family, you know. I slept on their couch, bro, for like three months straight, bro. Really grind, busting my ass, bro. Busting my ass like my, because my life did depend on it. I felt like my life did depend on it. You feel me? Uh, ran me up a bag and then I applied for apartments and money is not everything. You feel me? Money is not everything. Getting an apartment, you need them documents. You need everything to match up. You feel me? At this time, I'm not knowing about fake. I don't know about none of it. Like fake documents, you can get documents made for people that don't know. But this is before all that. I needed that. I'm talking, nigga. I'm lining up my EDD. 
I'm putting my EDD bank statements, putting my auntie's EDD bank statements. I'm putting all three of our EDD because we didn't, my, my family didn't make enough to even move out of Compton, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this was a real struggle. Like, my nigga, I told my mom, I said, Mom, I need. Um, I asked my mom to co sign. You know, my mom, she didn't want to do it just because she's my mom. She didn't want me to move out, but I'm not, I'm not coming back. No matter what you tell me, I'm not coming back, bro. I understand you love me. Ain't nothing gonna happen to me. But when I get out, when I leave them gates at the crib, when I leave them apartments, when I leave that gate, bro, this shit is fair game, bro. A nigga, a nigga take me off this map, bro, my family. Break crumble as a family, bro. That's on me, bro. Cause I, cause I know better. No matter what my my mom is thinking with her emotions, I'm thinking with my mind. You feel me? No matter what, I need to get up out of here. And I knew I needed to get up out of there. You feel me? I, I I got the money. My aunties helped me. Got my apartment, bro. And this is how God worked. Like I was saying, I applied to like five different apartments, bro. five. But it was one that was really helping me. I'm talking really help with this one right here was helping me, bro. Shout out Miss Vanessa, bro. Help me, bro. Held my, my, my holding deposit only hold the apartment for like three days. She held the apartment for two weeks. She held, the, she held that apart, this apartment for two weeks, bro. Cause she knew I was gonna, she seen that shit in my face. She seen this nigga is hurt. I'm in there crying. Like I need it, please man, like, please, I need this. Like that's the first time I ever, I don't cry in front of people, bro. But when you really know what's going on, my nigga, when you really gotta, when you really gotta get up out of there, bro, and shit, and shit is crumbling, my nigga. When you feel like your life is crumbling, bro gotta get up out you gotta separate yourself out that environment if i pull myself out and i would never be back bro i would never i would never go bro i would move to atlanta before i go back to Compton. this is because i know what happened for me i seen i got shot bro and a lot of people make that shit into a joke bro when that shit really was my fucking life bro but that just shows you bro i, I that shows me at least i know i'm a soldier i know i'm meant for more but like i was saying i applied for the apartment she held it for two weeks swear to god funeral comes up funeral for my best friend man i'm down i'm I'm sick, I don't got no apartment. I, I'm talking the night before, the night before that, I, my clothes, I had my my, um, my mom gave me the shirt at the funeral. My pants, I had to just wear some my pants I had, some white pants I had, and I wore some dirty white for us. I, I was sick, I, I was, I was, I felt I was on my knuckles, bro, feel mentally. I go there, I go to the funeral, I'm there, you know what I'm saying, it was probably the worst day of my life. You know, seeing them and stuff and just, you know, it was just, it was just so, ter it, was, it was terrible, bro. It was a really terrible, like, feeling for me. You know, not seeing them in so long, not so long, but like months and then seeing them like that was like a real reality check. You feel me? And then as I'm crying my heart out, as they playing the videos of them on the screen, I get a call from the apartment. She calls me and I answer and I'm like, yes, I'm at my brother's funeral right now, man. My, I don't think it's a good time to talk. Like you got the apartment, you could pick up the keys tomorrow. And that's when I knew God was real, bro. I'm not even gonna cry on this bitch. It just was, it was getting there. It was getting there, but it wasn't true. You feel me? I was like, all right, let's leave it alone. You feel me? But um, yeah, that's when I knew, bro. I was like, God is on my side, bro. Next day, I came straight to the apartment, picked all my shit up. I was out of there. I'm in the crib, no furniture, no nothing, just a TV on the floor and a bed, bro. I'm happy. I'm happy, bro. I'm happy. And that's why I let y'all know, bro. My life was shit. two, three years ago. My life was complete. I swear, like, of course, you know, I had a fun life, of course, but I'm saying as far as financially and everything, y'all, I probably was in the same position a lot of y'all are in. As far, I'm not saying y'all like for shit, but I'm just saying, like, yeah, I'm just saying, like, you feel me? I had a, every, a regular life. Like, every, we had no money. Like, every day I'm going, you know, we going to the mall, like, regular life, bro. And I'm just letting y'all know y'all can't do this shit. I hope y'all feel this through this video that y'all can do this, bro. All you need is a good title and a good thumbnail and a supportive fan base, and you got it, bro. You feel me? And always be nice to people, because that's going to take you farther, bro. Enough of me talking, bro. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all appreciated this video, and, and, I, and I appreciate you guys. I love you guys, man. You guys are amazing. I'm just so proud of what we what we accomplished, bro. On some real shit, 400K in two years, bro. It's, it's, it's not easily done by a lot of niggas, bro. On some real thing, on some real stuff. Music still goes crazy. Y'all do a lot, and I got some... I, I, I ain't gonna say it. Nah, I ain't gonna say it. But y'all see why I got this watch, though. I got some shit coming up. Um... I got a lot going. I got a lot going on, bro. I got a lot going on, bro. I just can't wait to really reveal this shit to you. I don't want to let it go before it happens. You feel me? I want to. I love you guys, though. I appreciate you guys, and I'm glad we're a family, bro. I'm glad y'all tuned in. Everybody that tunes into any video, you, you shit. If you ain't been here in a while, I still appreciate you for watching this one. If I could do it, y'all could do it. I love y'all, man. I'm sorry I'm on the side, hella, but I love you guys, and I'm out, man. Peace. Oh, they put this bitch on. <laughs> Oh, yeah.
I love y'all, man. Hold on, the light this way. I love y'all, man, and I'm out, boy. Peace, nigga.